My name is Susie Tevert. I'm diagnosed with bipolar 1, but I'm self-diagnosed autistic. The day I was sectioned, I thought I was having a really brilliant day. I was high up and celebrating life, drawing all my friends to me, wanting to celebrate all these things that I saw were happening around me and how beautiful the world was. I was talking about God and I remember the consultant actually saying, so would you say it's like a revelation? And I said, yes, yes, exactly that, thinking that they'd just support my th theories. But um, within an hour of that, I was sectioned. I genuinely believed I was the second coming of Jesus Christ. Since my episodes, I've discovered that's actually quite a common symptom of psychosis. And I think if I'd known how common it was, I might not have believed it so readily. When I went into hospital, I was terrified what might happen to my child. My first six months of motherhood were quite a strain having lost my own mother when I was 17, that was exacerbated by not having her around in early parenthood. When I did go home after two months, I couldn't remember how to parent. I was introduced to my care coordinator from the Early Intervention in Psychosis or EIP team. She and I developed a good rapport very quickly and I'm very lucky in that regard. After psychosis, I had a big crash of depression. I um, had started going to church again. I decided to get baptised again and that drew a wedge between me and my husband and triggered the start of my divorce. I stopped sleeping, I started staying up all night debating the meaning of life and I was fighting against the divorce, fighting against my life falling apart, fighting against the stress at work and I ended up toppling over the edge again and I was sectioned again and went back into hospital and that was the nail in the coffin of my marriage and my life as it had been. I stayed under the care of the IP for two more years after my last hospital admission. It was suggested I might benefit from more intensive therapy, so I had CAT, uh, Cognitive Analytical Therapy, and as a result of that, I'm able to stay more grounded. I'd set a goal that I was going to be working again or I was going to be renting my own home. And when we set those goals, I'd be so, I was so determined that I was going to be in this pit of depression forever and I was never going to be able to manage my life again. And when I looked back at the goals and went, look, look, I am now working. I am now renting my own house and I had a cheerleader in my care coordinator spurring me on to keep building my life back up together. Just this year I really have started feeling like myself again finally. Thanks to the ARP team I now have a really good toolbox of things to keep me well and to keep me grounded and as a result, I'm determined that I'm never going to be in psychiatric hospital again.